Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to run through our winter almost contactless car wash. In practice you have to touch the car a little bit. The idea is to minimize the amount of contact you make. This is our car. It is filthy but we live in a rural area, lots of farms, lots of mud and this is literally 10 days, two weeks at most accumulated dirt. These are the things that we use, uh, two buckets and two cloths, uh, a snow foam gun, which is uh, important, uh, a variety of cloths and some chemicals. And we've all got our own favorites, as are on our website. If you're interested, we use AutoGlim quite a lot. The first step that we do is to give the car a good wash down using the jet wash. Uh, this lance that we talked about has a, a beam spread uh, so that you don't actually have a very hard jet which some jet washes can do which can damage paintwork if you hit the thing too straight onto the bodywork so this is we tend to do it slight like angle uh, to help spread the load but also it's, it's really useful with the L shape we give the wheel arches a really good clean depends on how dirty your car is and how much you need to do that but the jet wash we use you can really get into the nooks and crannies and under the underneath the car as well if you need to. So the objective here, which we just sped up a little bit, is to really just get off that loose superficial dirt and effectively wet the car down. Once the car's nice and wet, we're going to switch over to the snow foam lance. Um, again, different people have different flavours and like different strengths. We actually apply it quite thick. Um, in summer you need to be careful that you don't let it dry out but in winter which is where we are now uh, there's not really much chance of doing that the humidity is quite high as well so anyway just give the car a good going over with the snow foam good covering make sure you do the wheels a little bit into the wheel arches make sure you do the wheels the sills of the car as well and basically just let it sort of settle on the car until you've got a good good coating This is what it looks like just after we've applied it um, and it takes a little while for the snow foam to grab hold of all the dirt and effectively lift it off the paintwork and it'll start to slide down. So while we're letting the snow foam do its stuff, we clean the wheels. Um, we've got two buckets, one clean water, one with the soapy water. We're using a sponge. We have dedicated two wheels so um, any grit that gets picked up from the wheels doesn't get transferred to the paint. And essentially we give the wheels a good clean, rinse out the uh, sponge and give them a second wipe round, making sure that we effectively do the rubber and tyres as well. Because the Model Y has got hard plastic trim around the wheel arches, we give that a bit of a wipe round as well because we know we're not going to damage the paint and actually the more dirt we can get off from the edge, the less likely we are to pick up a contaminant when we are cleaning the actual uh, bodywork of the car. So we're just going to show you some speeded up footage as we whiz around the car and clean each of the wheels. Because the Model Y also has sort of like a hard black plastic trim at the sill, um, we also give this a wipe down using the wheel sponge early on just to lift off any dirt that's attached to there. So, again, as we clean the bodywork, we don't accidentally pick up that dirt when we come to do the bodywork. Thank you. 
once we've done that we'll refresh the water because obviously we don't want to use the water we use for the wheels to uh, clean the sponge for when we do the car you can also see the snow foam now starting to just sort of like drop down on the bodywork and that's as it's starting to sort of slide away with the dirt that's in the water okay a bit of a closer up you can see the how the suds are started to change and they're actually starting to look a little bit dirty on the other side actually you can see some quite quite strong staining of the uh, the foam there and of course so far we haven't touched the bodywork at all with our hands other than the wheels and round the black plastic hard black plastic around the wheel arches and the door sills of the car we're now going to rinse down the dirt using our jet wash again and the angled attachment The act of the snow foam has now effectively made a lot of the dirt loose and so when jet washing the car now actually removes a lot more of that dirt and you can see the paint starting to come through and actually I reckon we've removed probably a good 80% of the dirt from the car and actually what you can see is actually fairly light dirt now on the car it doesn't look great but actually it's not that gritty most of that stuff has now been removed. So a bit of a close-up now you can see where the jet wash marks have been we wouldn't go much further than that in terms of perseverance with the jet wash you could really blast away and get more of it off but you are at risk then of damaging the car so we just we just stop at this point okay we're now going to switch to a dedicated um, cloth that we use for washing the paintwork and glass we've got fresh water in both buckets and now we can just work through the car we like to start at the top and work down um, we know some people start at the bottom and work up we think it makes more sense to start at the top We'd also suggest you basically work on a panel by panel basis to make sure you cover everywhere. So here we're doing the driver's door, we did along the top just below the glass, we're now working around the main body of the door and we're now doing the bottom sill as well or the bottom portion of the door. If you feel the car's particularly dirty or, or starting to see some streaking then wash out your sponge and get, some, get a fresh uh, dose of suds and basically repeat.
once you've worked your way around the car now it's time to give it another rinse off and this time give it a really good rinse to make sure you get all the suds out the little crevices behind the windscreen wipers you know down the panel gaps and so on you want to have the water running clear off the car when you've finished With Tesla's dirt actually gets behind the doors and onto the running boards so we'd also open the doors and basically just wipe round those areas with your uh, with your sponge just basically clean off any dirt that's actually just you know out of sight when the doors are closed but very visible when the doors are open. We also tend to wipe down the bottom of the door because that's where the drainage holes are and while it's fairly rare for them to get blocked we feel that just making sure they're clear and free is uh, no bad thing to do, especially in winter. Once you've done that, you'll probably just need to give the car another bit of a wash down, certainly around the panel gaps and the sills, just letting water get in there and just wash out any suds and any sort of marks and stuff you've made on the paintwork while you were doing that. The next challenge uh, in winter is actually drying the car off. We live in quite a hard water area, and if we didn't dry the car, we'd actually have quite a lot of water spots uh, when the water dries. Um, that's particularly noticeable on black cars, but it's good practice to do even with a white car. So we're just using a, 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 a proper drying towel, which actually absorbs lots and lots of water, but doesn't actually leave the car with a, a perfectly dry finish. To help dry the car in winter, we use Auto Glim's Extra Gloss Protection. Uh, it's uh, you just easily wipe it on. It actually disperses the water really, really well. Uh, we do it on the glass as well, not the windscreen, but we'll do it on the side windows and the bodywork and the headlights. And this basically just helps remove any excess water and leaves quite a nice finish on the car. Almost as soon as we finished applying it, you can see it's already started to haze and you can see that sort of effect on the paintwork where we've applied it. As it's dry, get a fresh microfiber cloth and basically rub the car down, buffing it up to a nice shine.
We'd also wipe down the door sills and uh, around the boot lining, just to basically make sure that that's all nice and dry and clean as well. We sped this film up um, quite a lot, so you've seen an hour's work in 15 minutes. Beats going to the gym, um, and you can see how shiny and clean the car is now. And so just to give you a, a reminder of how bad it was before we started, we're just going to drop in a, a picture of where we started. So massive improvement. Hope you've enjoyed. <laughs>